hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i am going to be doing a debt update now i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i can't actually remember when the last time i posted my debt update i'm not sure if it was um if it was april which is this month that i'm showing you but because i am behind on my debt updates i just am going to go over the last couple of months and what my starting debt is this month. Now, if you guys hear some noise in the background, um, it could be the wind, it's really windy here, but luckily it is not really a hot day, so I'm so thankful for that. The whole week last week, it was just scorching hot, and finally we have some days that are not as hot. So if you hear that noise, it's just the wind. Okay, so, now, <laughs> as you can see, these are my numbers. So in April, I started off my debt with $45,101.21. Now I do have some of these goals down here for my debt payoff plan. Um, to be honest, I haven't really been going by this just because I have been working extra and I've been able to put a lot more towards debt. So. I am going to go ahead and show you guys what this side looks like for April. So for April, as you can see, um, I ended up putting $504.74 into my city card. So that had went down a lot. All of these other numbers I did not put anything new to, like no extra debt or anything like that. So this was a good chunk. So we're going to go ahead and go into the May starting debt, which let me see if I can cover this. So with the May starting debt here, as you can see, city card went from 7,100 basically to 6,400. Now my numbers might be a little bit off just because the way I, I was making payments and then um, the way that I ended up, you know, putting it in here. My second paycheck in April actually kind of went a little bit into May. So that paycheck, I think it went into like the first or second week of May. So I actually was able to put some of that money towards this debt. So this is why, actually, am I even making sense? You know, it's just how I did it. <laughs> Actually, this kind of does make sense, but it's it's a little confusing for me just because I can't really remember exactly what I did. And I'm just being totally honest, you guys. So if I don't make any sense, never mind that. These were the numbers that I got. So May, I'm going to show you what I ended up putting. So this was such a good month. Now I'm going to have to kind of, you know, explain myself why. I had this amount of money so not only did I do a lot a lot of overtime and I got bonuses for doing overtime because you know they were so short at work I I jumped on it I said yes I think I had like four days of overtime plus a few bonuses so it, it amounted to a lot of money but um, the reason why this is so high is I will go ahead and go into my sinking fund is because um, as you can see here in my sinking fund I had my savings right here so I ended up having basically two thousand and ninety two dollars total at the end of the month and I ended up of course subtracting that amount to go towards this debt now I, I really, really cringed when I did that only because I was just thinking, you know, what if I needed that money? That money was set aside, but aside from that money, I still had a little over $2,000 in my, you know, sinking funds bank account, which is my ally account. So because of that, I thought, you know what, 2000 ish dollars would be okay for me to have in case of an emergency and of course I do have my husband a lot of this is not actually all of this is not including him so if there was an emergency I do have him to fall back on 
I know a lot of us don't have that, but um, for me, I mean, I do. So I took that into account and like this interest rate is so high, it's 12%. I mean, it's not the highest it could be, but because it's so high, I thought, you know what? I was seeing like one or $2 of interest build up in my savings account for Ally, but then I was looking at the interest building up on my city card and I honestly had like $80 of interest a month, a month. So that one or two dollars of it being in my savings account did not make any sense to me to have it there with no purpose. Like this, you know, I mean, the sole purpose of savings was would be for an emergency. But like I said, I already had around two thousand ish dollars. So it didn't really make sense for me to just leave it there for, no, you know, nothing. Just for me to continue to accumulate eighty dollars worth of debt towards this now. This amount does not reflect this number. So now we are gonna go ahead and go into my June starting balance. No, not June. Did I say June? I did say June, okay. I haven't completed this whole here, but as you can see, from that amount of money in May, my new balance was $2,894, which is so exciting because I'm actually seeing this number go down. So I am like, it sucks not having that extra money in my account, but it was just sitting there for nothing. Like, you know, I honestly, I'm not planning on anything happening. Like that's the furthest from my mind. And if it does, it does. I'll... I'll figure it out but to see this number go down so much from 6400 and if you guys want to see from the beginning of the year I think I have it in here it was at 8100 over 8100 dollars and now I have it at 2800 and you know a little over but it just it actually makes me see progress and I feel like once this city card is gone everything will just start to fall in line um so we are what day is it it is June 7th so we are still in the very beginning of June and I'm not sure how much I will be able to have towards this debt because I haven't been able to pick up any overtime yet or any bonuses like they weren't offered to me yet but if they are, then I will definitely say yes because I want this number to continue to go down. Now, in the future, once the city card is gone, I am actually going to redo all of these numbers, like the sequence I have them because my car loan and my, this is my personal loan here, I am actually gonna flip them. So once I'm done with my city card, I will go into Navient, which is my student loan and then I will tackle my personal loan. So as you can see, my car and my personal loan are about the same amounts, give or take, you know, $100 here, $100 there, depending on how my payments go through, but the interest is a big difference. So my personal loan is more than double interest of my car payments. So I would like to pay this off first since, like I said, it is around the same amount that I owe. So I will be putting these in a different sequence. So it would be uh, my, my school loan, my personal loan, and then my car, just because I am accumulating more money in interest on this one. So yeah, and as you can see, I hit a milestone. So I am officially under $40,000 in debt. And from April, which I said in the beginning, I was at $45,000, now I'm under 40. So I'm at $39,542.64. So that is so exciting. I cannot wait to see this go back down below 30. Like I'm gonna try my hardest this year though. I really made a point to try to get rid of the city card. Cause like I said, once this one is gone, 
the next one will just fall in line and it will just get easier to be honest once i get to these bigger debts it might be a little bit harder because obviously it's a higher amount but i feel like once this credit card is gone everything will just follow and be gone too so that is my update i'm so sorry you guys i haven't been able to work on this with you and show you what i've been doing i've just been i've just been working on my whole butt off at work trying to make extra money and I mean I do want YouTube to also be a side income but it just you know it honestly takes a lot of time so I didn't I mean I did have some time but honestly I just wanted to spend it with my family I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys you know will you know watch this video <laughs> obviously if you're watching to this point you have but I will be putting out more content for you guys so um, if you are interested in any other types of videos I was thinking of like money saving videos like to show you what I do to save money like household things like you know using instead of using dryer sheets I use dryer balls or making my own laundry detergent like stuff like that are you guys interested in that because I would totally do that so let me know but if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave me a comment I would love to interact with you guys I have not spoken to some of you in so long and I know a few of you have reached out to me asking if I'm okay and yes I'm okay <laughs> thank you guys so much you guys stay safe and take care bye